It's winter. I mean, it's been winter. Uh, I definitely changed my skincare up a lot, especially since I switch, I switch all my makeup to 3C. But now I switch all my skincare to also 3C. I mean, I was already using it a long time ago during last winter. That's when I first discovered it. But then I stopped using it in the summer because it was more, I feel like more effective for dehydrated dry skin, which my skin is now. Not that this video is like sponsored by 3C or anything. Uh, hold on, wait to... I need to take off my eye makeup first. I mean, she wasn't that heavy, but I mean, is it ever really heavy? Is it? But I like to remove my eyebrows and eye makeup separately with an eye makeup remover. This is a lip and eye cleanser from Trader okay. Because I feel like it's less effort if I try to use, when I'm using like the cleansing oil. Um, you can still do that with the cleansing oil, but it takes a lot more time breaking it down. Whereas this will just immediately... I like this one because it's more... It doesn't sting my eyes and there's a lot more like moisturizing ingredients rather than like the, the stripping sort of uh, effect. Because uh, that's what micellar water is. It's just a bunch of uh, cleansing agents, but this has more of that moisturizing. Not that it matters because you're going to cleanse your face anyway. But for me, honestly, the most important thing is that it doesn't sting my eyes. Now, Sis went a little bit ham with the exfoliating skincare, which has really helped my skin a lot. But I think I was using it a little too hard. So, like, places like my chin and right here between my brows got super, super thin and, like, sensitive and raw and red. But I was like, oh no, it's just, my skin is so dry. Girl, I fucked my skin up. So what I've been doing for the past like week or so is cleansing with only oil and I have to say it's really, really helped my skin. I was kind of looking around um, for cleansing oils, but one that I found on Huahe, the app that uh, all the Koreans use to check ingredients and things for skincare, is the Hua... The Huang Jisu Pure Perfect Cleansing Oil. I guess the main reason I went with this one is just because there's no... It's like EWG, as in there's no like bad ingredients or ingredients that can potentially be um you know things like PEGs and you know the, the nasties that can come in skincare or makeup. This is the one of the more pure ones because there's no like fragrance and there's no extra shit that it doesn't need. But I just make sure that I because I'm only using this and I'm not using like cleansing foam or anything afterwards, I make sure that I really lift off like the makeup and the dirt, especially here. So I don't have to go with the second cleanser. And now I can just avoid my eyes. That's another reason why I use eye makeup removers because when I was just using cleansing oil, cleansing balm to remove the shit on my face, I would like really dig into my eyes, but that would like, it would also get in my eyes. And not that it stings and it hurts, but it's almost like it creates like a film over my eyes, which can make my eyes watery. It kind of like, tears just keep coming out for like the next few hours, which isn't really, I mean, if you find that cute. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm filming. Do like what A few moments later. And uh, now I just have to rinse my face, obviously. I was using these for a while to help get rid of my, like, the cleanser that's on my face, but now I just kind of spent at least a minute rinsing the water and I find that it takes everything off. Not hot, not cold, but just like cool. 3.28 AM. I do still kind of use these though. Not to like rub off and take off the cleanser because that was also adding to the irritation here and here. So I use it just to absorb any like water that's dripping on my face. Done. And just let the rest like air dry. Okay, now I'm having the skincare. I need to put something on my lips though because my lips, just like this butthole, are real dry. So I'm still on the, uh, was it the hot edition that that spicy noodle thing collaboration Tony Molly did? Uh, Stop, I'm like really nervous right now because there's like other people in the room. Should I leave? That was fine. <laughs> so the seven skin, the seven skin <laughs> method thing was like a trend, but I like, I was still doing it. Not that I'm lazy these days, but I feel like the toner I've been using, I don't really need to do seven steps. Uh, the three, oh, I can never get this fucking name right. White Milquidro Mild Toner, Milquidro, Milquidro, Milk Liquid, but Hydro like in one word. And I also have a carton, a milk carton, milk carton pads. 
I actually kind of cleanse my face in the morning with this. I don't really cleanse in the morning. I just use this to wipe the dust off my face. But at night, I use this kind of like almost... How to explain? The cotton kind of holds the toner in there. And so you're able to kind of pat and let it absorb into the skin a lot for, you know, a little bit longer. And it doesn't waste really any product because sometimes the hand kind of absorbs. Because, I mean, you've got skin on your hand too, right? But it's also absorbing the toner. But with this, it kind of just stays in the cotton. And because it's so thick, because, I mean, these sorts of cotton sheets are really popular in Korea um, or in Asia in general. These kinds that don't grow. The, the cotton pads we have in America, like the little cotton balls, sweetie. They absorb too much product. And you're kind of running through your toner way quicker. What are they? What, what are they? Boots? They got boots? They have boots. They have a uh, super drug. Oh, I put some we buy drugs there? Me. Wow, four minutes left on this fucking memory card. Love that for me. And then, oh, I don't even have to fucking use that. I really don't need to use that. I can just use my hands, which is what I'm going to do now. This toner is supposed to have, it. Uh, they say that it's like mixes or it balances water and the oil in your skin. While it's hydrating, it's also softening. That's why I think this line is good for people like you, actually where your skin is actually really good. Like you don't really have acne, you don't need any acne fighting skincare. You kind of just need something that will soften and make your skin like moist and glowy and plump and shit. Cause like, you know, for a while, I feel like on YouTube, a lot of the skincare videos would be for people tar targeting people with acne skincare, which is, you know, a valid thing. But there are some people that don't really need much, but they want to do skincare, but they don't really need that much, but they want something kind of just like upgrade. <laughs> Their skin so this line is what i usually recommend for people for like you and people like leo uh i don't need to change my cards because there's three minutes left uh okay so there's that the toner um it honestly this whole line is kind of expensive i'm like a rich beauty youtuber so i can afford it but there is one that i always recommend to people like as a basic thing is the naked face uh, stress zero. It's like super super basic. EGW, no bad ingredients, so it's uh, good for all skin types. And it's you get a shit ton of product, and it's like twenty something dollars. So um, that lasts me forever. So um, there's that. And then after that, I use this glossy. Lately, I've just been really focusing on moisture, not necessarily like things like for dark spots and like you know all that eye creams I don't really use. I feel like if you if your skincare is moisturizing already. You should be fine. And also dark circles, I had to get fillers for that. I, dark circles, I feel like you can't get rid of. With skincare, you can, I guess, with wrinkles, things like that is fine, but dark circles, I don't think you can get rid of. But I'm using the Glossy Essence. To be honest, I got everything in this line because I just want, I'm one of those bitches that likes to have everything in the line. I want my collection to be complete. But I do find that this, you know, adds extra moisture. Huh? You have to get back and you're like, oh, oh me after Bukake session. <laughs> Cause sometimes, you know, when you put the toner, like, oh, my skin looks so like glossy and flossy, but after a few minutes, it really absorbs into the skin. So it kind of like goes away, which honestly, I don't, that's why when I see like beauty YouTubers and stuff, firstly applying foundation, they're like, oh my God, look, it's so glossy and dewy, but that's only because they just freshly applied it, applied it. Same thing with the toner. My skin looked glossy and flossy after the toner, but after a while, it kind of mattified anyway. This kind of, it's not going to give you like super like glass skin, but I mean, I just put it on, but this kind of uh, adds more radiance to the skin. Doesn't matter that much if you're gonna wear like makeup on top. Like, I just want my skin to feel nice. I don't really care, like if it looks like I'm super glossy because I'm going, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Also, because I went to Malaysia and I was using like sample things, and I like to use these for travel. And it has all the skincare in like one thing, like the whole routine. And there's a facial cream in here, so I was like, oh, I, I didn't try the facial cream. So I went to go out and buy it, but the thing is, the facial cream looks exactly like another product that they have. They have like a Mebec cream, one of those tone-up creams. They literally look like exactly the same, except one, the facial cream is just a little bit taller than the um, other one. I don't find that it's too like, I feel like it's making like a coat on the skin, because that's what I don't like. I feel like I'm just putting Vaseline on with some facial creams that create this sort of coating. I feel like this one, just like all the other stuff, it kind of hydrates as well as moisturizes. So it's, I'm not just putting a coat of like mineral oil on my face. And I think that's what's important because your skin can be super moisturized, but it can also be dehydrated. And it also, um, since using like this line, um, my problems, I'm, I'm really not sponsored. Bye. <laughs> Use code James for 10% off. <laughs> because it really, this whole line kind of balances out oil and water in the skin. 
my skin has gotten less oily. Yeah, my skin is gets kind of red when I touch it, so I need to. I'll be. I'll. I'll come back in a little bit when she's uh settled down a little bit more. Later that same evening. Oh, been five minutes, but I still look like shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, so that's my skincare routine that I've been doing lately. It's definitely caught my skin on a lot more, and my makeup goes on a lot smoother. What did I forget to say? This whole line smells like milk, but it's like a really fake, like a kind of like Asian store like fake milk candy sort of smell. If you're Filipino, you'd understand. Just kidding. They have like dehydrated milk. Okay. Uh, it smells like that. I don't know. I dehydrated milk. Me. Bye. <laughs>